earbuds away because I know no one in here is doing that, right? right. All right, let's, let's go. You ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, all right. Class. Yes. Thank you. All right, so now since everyone is going to be paying attention, everyone already did the question one through six yesterday because those ones were easy, right? Yeah, those are one through six. What did they do? This guy. What did I tell you? Stop smoking so much. I Bro. wasn't in your class. Yes, because you were out there smoking. But then you came I got back. called. I remember I got deported. I, I know. We, you you said I got deported. Oh, man. Remember? We, 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 we. Parker up here teaching and everything. Right. Okay? So that was crazy. Was that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got stopped smoking so much. You, you came you back that? here and actually did the work. Oh, are you oh. talking about what's Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember that. Exactly. Oh, oh, wow. Fucking dummy. <laughs> Dude, okay, listen. Yeah, I went out like, anyway, all right. <laughs> all right, so now you guys. Okay, since I know everyone's paying attention, all those earbuds are off and away because you're paying attention to me right now. Okay, so we're going to go over, and I need to do one thing. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Okay, I made a mistake. So, yesterday, when I was talking about, okay, people getting thrown in jail for tax evasion, it wasn't Jimmy Hoffman. Yeah. They're still trying. That's Teflon dog. Nothing's good. They keep trying. Anyway, but Al Capone, that's who it was that they got for tax. So, Jimmy Hoffa, you know, yeah, he was involved with the mob. That's why his body disappeared. Okay, so Al Capone was the guy that would actually like, you know, went out and killed people and, and like <coughs> crazy, like in front of people. And they still could not convict him. But they still end up getting him just for tax evasion. Yes, that's what I said. We had this discussion yesterday. Stop smoking so much. Man. All right. Percent sales tax and discount. Many applications involving percent is based on the following formula. Note that of implies multiplication. All right. <clears throat> so, see all this stuff right here? Yeah. It sucks. It really did. So, the way that they do this, it's more complicated than what it needs to be. You just went and got some new earbuds, right? Okay. That's why you're not putting them away because you can't find a case, right? Yeah. Now, when it goes and you're checking out, you're at the register, yeah. and then you don't just pay. I'm a, how much you pay for the earbuds? How much are they? Yeah, five figure discount. Anyway, so yeah. how much? How much are they much actually? It's like a like hundred. Like a hundred? Okay. Let's say they're what? Okay. Just say a hundred. Okay. Now, when you go and you pay, are you paying just a hundred dollars? Why? Tax. tax. Okay. But what if I told you that tax is, you know, just 10 percent? Okay, why are you paying 110? 10 percent of 100. But why are you paying 110? You take your 10 percent and they do what? They add it on. There we go. We add it on to the cost of the item. We add it to the cost of the item. So that's important to understand. So when you're paying tax, you're actually paying 110% of the item because the item is the 100% plus your tax percentage that we have. So here in Phoenix, I think it's going to be 10.2 sale for sale tax. So it's 10, like 10.2% uh, depending on what it is. Okay, certain places or certain things actually have other taxes. Take that stupid thing away. Okay. Now, I'm going to go through and actually show a couple different ways of doing this. So there's two different ways of doing this. And I'm going to show you both. One's easier than the other. It says right here, suppose that the local sales tax rate is 7.5% and you purchase a bicycle for... 894. How much tax is paid? 
So there's two items here that you're going to do. You're going to take your item, but this right here, this percent, I don't want the percent. You're not multiplying by the percent. You need to multiply by the decimal. So when we did this yesterday and we converted a percent into a decimal, we moved the decimal point which way? To the left. How many spots? Two. If you notice, there's not two spaces there. So what do we add in front of that? Zero. Zero. Very good. That's why I don't think zero is a number. Oh, I'm sorry. That's so, okay. so right now, the decimal's here, and I need to go over to one, two. So my, my decimal, 0 0.075. There we go. That's important now. That's the value I'm going to multiply by. So that is to figure out how much tax is going to be paid. So I multiply this. So times my value of 894. And since we are dealing with money, we're all dealing with money, we want to make sure that we always round it off to the penny. That's two decimal points. It's always to the penny. So 67.05. So Diddy says it is 67.05. You guys all agree? Yeah. Not bad, right? And then the bicycle's total cost. Yes, there we go. So we're adding the tax and the original amount. So we have a nine four. 0 0.00 plus 67.05. Now, there is another way of doing this, which is a little bit quicker. Because, don't we already have, like, we already know we're going to pay 100%, right? And we're also going to pay the 7.5%, right? Can I just combine those together in one step? Yeah. We can. So it's going to be 100% plus 7.5%. So I will show you how to do that here. So we have 100% plus my 7.5%, which is going to give me 107.5%. Turn that one into a decimal. Okay, so which is going to give me 1.075, and we're going to multiply that by, what was it, 894. Eight, 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 and we end up getting the same answer, right? It should be 9... There you go, like that. Hey, no worries. So by understanding that your tax is going to be added to it, what do you think a discount would be? Subtracted from. Since the purchase price would be 100%, right? A discount would be subtracted from that amount. Okay. So taxes are added fees, added on percentages, where discounts are subtracted from my amount, which is always going to start off at 100%. So we got, go with that. So let's see. Businesses reduce prices, discounts to attract customers to the uh, and reduce inventory. The discount rate is a percent of the original price. Okay. So I know it's kind of complicated. But by what we did previously, this should be a lot easier. Now, let's do it the way that I just showed you on that other slide. I got 
we know that my original price starts off at what percent? 100% is my original price, right? Yeah. And so if I'm going to do 100% and my discount, what am I going to do with my discount? Minus, right? Minus what percent? 15%. So minus 15%, which is going to give me 85%. Good. So 85% is the percent that we're going to be paying for. So I'm starting at a percent right here, right? Yeah, so, so we don't work with percents. We turn that percent into a decimal, right, Javi? Yeah. Okay, times so it's going to be 0.85 times 1,400. Hey, no worries. Other people are. Rigo, what'd you get? Oh, man. Uh, 1,241. No, no sense? No sense? Oh, yeah, no sense. Okay. Good. All right. So that is my laptop sale price, right? So by doing this first, it's going to make my life easier. Can you stop the right with me? Me, 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 Okay. Just zone down a little bit. It's dark. Okay. Everyone, it's like being next to him, it's a contact high. Yeah. It's a contact just, high. Just so much emanates off him. Okay. So now, let's go back to the original question. Ms. Parker, come on. You got this. Okay. Hold on. So the original question is, Discount amount. How much money did they take off? What would I do to try and figure out how much they took off? To subtract, right? Okay, subtract my two values. So my original price, subtract the amount that we're going to pay, and that's going to give me the discounted amount. How much money I am saving by that discount. And we're going to come up with what? Ah. Yep. Two nineteen dollars. That's crazy, right? That's saving a lot of money, isn't it? Okay. How do I get which one? This one down here. Two nineteen. Okay, so we take this value. So we had the original price, which was 1460 minus my 1241. One. So I have my original. And then subtract my new. So I got my extra crispy right here, the original recipe and subtract my new, and then we're gonna get this amount. Yeah. And that's gonna come up later, in, in a minute. So we're gonna actually start finding percents to figure out what it is then and now. Hey, weirdos, what do you got, Jordan? Uh, I was looking up the percentage of uh, this question. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, percentages then changes. Now we're going to go and try and find the percentages increasing and decreasing. Now, I hate the way they do this. And so the way they actually go over this sucks. And so I'm going to teach it a different way. Because that's what I do. Okay, another
Another way we can see this is percent over 100 equals part over whole. So let's go ahead and part and whole. These are important. So part and whole. So my original amount, which would be like this. Okay, so sale price. Okay, sale price, original price equals percent over 100. So same thing, it's just, there are different key words that you're gonna use, and you're writing this down, not texting it right now, because you're copying it down. Yeah. yeah. Now let's go back and do that problem that we just did, that we already know what the answer is 15%, right? Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Yeah. So instead, Let's go ahead. We already know it's supposed to be 15%, but let's see if this works. So I'm going to say X percent because I know it's going to be at 15. It should be over 100 equals. What was my sale price? What did we come up with and say my sale price was? Divided by original price. There you go. Now, what these are called, these are called cross products. They are proportional. They're proportions we go through and cross multiply to be able to find our missing values. So I'm cross multiplying, so I'm going this way. Together. When I'm doing this, I'm going to leave the percent alone. Okay, I'm going to leave the percent alone. What is X times 1460? Very good. One, four, six, zero, X. Bring down your equal sign. And now we're going to multiply the other way. 1241 times 100. One, two, four, one, zero, zero. One hundred twenty-four thousand. 100. Very good. Okay, so now we have an equation here, right? I have an equation. So we want to solve for x. So to get x by itself right here, I'm going to do what to both sides? Divide. Very good. So this is a multiplication. So I'm going to divide both sides by 1460 because I want the x by itself. So I want to get rid of the 1460. And then do that math for me, please. You said 85?
Take this number. I know the number. One, two, four, one, zero, zero. Hey, what did I say what the answer was earlier? I said it was 85. That's what I started. Very good. So we know that x is 85, and we were solving for which one? This is my percent, right? There we go. So 85% of my original price was my sale price. So we could actually work this backwards so we could eventually find the percentages also. Every single time using these keywords, the value that is not given to you is going to have the variable x. The value that's not given to you is going to have the variable x. So at this step here, you're just going to divide to get your x value, and that's what's going to be missing. All right, let's see. Okay, we'll see. All right, finding percent increase and decrease. In 2000, the world population was approximately 6 billion. Data United Nations Family Planning Program based on optimistic or pessimistic expectations for successful control of human population. Look, they even said United Nations control of human population. It's not a conspiracy. They already, they already say they want to, like, yeah, control the human population. That's crazy, right? The United Nations? Yeah. Yes. We've been saying that. Started with the pigeons. I actually, I, thought, I think it started with Harambe. Uh, I also think it started with bees. The bees are part of the government. You know that? Mm. Didn't say that, Harvey. What's your, what's your, your theory on that? I know, right? Okay. <laughs> Find the percent increase in the world population from 2000 to 2150 using the projected, the high projected. So it's going to be right here. So we're using these two values, here and here. So we're going to find the percent increase. Okay? So let's go ahead. I'm trying to find percent. So that's going to be x percent over 100 equals, what was the original? Starting out is what? Yeah, the whole, the whole. So right here, this was 6 billion, right? It was 6 billion. 6 billion is my original here, right? Okay. And then we're changing it. We're going to the next one to be 2150. And so 2150 is going to be 30%. Or 30 billion, right? Now, using those tips and that I just showed you for cross products, I want you to try that right now yourself. So you're writing those down and doing the cross products yourself. Give me a second. I'm going to come around and help some people that are falling asleep for some reason.
are you? What the heck? What? Did you pay attention? Yeah. How dare you? All right, homie, how are you doing? What you got there? I've been telling you I've been paying attention this whole well, time, huh? and well, you've just been like, like it's not You're hard. You're just like mumbling here. You're like just too high. It's not hard. There you go. It is hard. So one, two. Got it? Uh, yeah. Can I go to the restroom okay. though? Hey. Can you? Hey, please go to the restroom. Can you? Are we? No. Uh, no, I didn't let you. It's like 45. Oh, do we? Yeah, it's like 45. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Multiply this way. 6 times x, 6x, 30 times 100, only three zeros, not 14. Okay, then from here, to get the x by itself, I'm going to divide both sides by, there we go. Five hundred and. Nope. That's my percent, right? So that means that the world's population, they're estimating the world's population to increase by 500%. That's what they're saying. Now the next one says find the percent decrease in using the low data. Now low projection is down here to 4 billion. They're doing the four billion now. Okay, so we're gonna do that one. So my original's here, and my new one's there, right? So I'm gonna go X percent over 100 equals four over, there we go. Now we have it set up. I want you to do it now. Yes, sir. Good job. All right. Six X equals O hundred. Now, I want you guys to really think about this, though. Did the population go up or down? It goes down. So if it was at 100%, so if my population was 100%, that means my population stays the same. But if it's less than 100%, didn't we have a discount? Less than 100%, that was my discount, right? That means my value is going down. So in this case right here, how much did it go down? It went down 33. 33.3. So it's going down.
it's going down because from here to here, okay, it is decreasing. So if it's less than 100%, it is decreasing. If it's at 100%, it stays the same. If it's more than 100%, think about that taxes that we have, it would be increasing. It's going up. Okay, so everything is based on 100%. Less than 100%, it's a decrease. More than 100%, it's an increase. All right, you guys feel pretty good about that? Agree? Did I not? No, you got this. You just keep staring at your phone for some reason. Oh, are you? Okay, good. Okay, so this is a weird one. Okay, Josh texts Tesh while he was still co-anchoring Entertainment Tonight. It's like a TV show that. Anyone actually watch that crap? Is that, is that a thing? Anyway, all right, reported that PBS series Civil War had an audience of 13% versus the usual 4% audience increase of more than 300%. Did Tesh report the percent increase correctly? Ah! Wow! Okay, right here. Right here. I know, right? I was like, dude, donuts. Thank you very much. They're very happy. Yes, they are. Good job. Thank Good you. job. Thank Give you. yourself a high five, both of you. Yes. Ah, oh, thank you very much. Okay. So, is that an increase of 300%? So now, for this one right here, Going from 4% up to 13%, yeah. okay, it's right? Okay, why is it right? <coughs> that would, very good, very good. So that is your, the 4% original yeah. is your 100% right there, yeah. right? Oh, man. Mr. Parker is on top of things today. So, yes, he said that my 4% is basically the starting value, which is 100%, right? And he said it went up to 13%. So, that's three times more. So, three times both. So that's going to be 12% is equal to 300%. So is he more than that? Yeah. Yes, it is. Hey, good job. Because we went up to 13%. So it's more than 300% increase. I could have said better myself. Good job, Mr. Parker. So increases, decreases, like, share, and subscribe. Hit those notification button today. Since we finished one through six yesterday, you're gonna do seven through 15 today, and you're gonna have it done before we walk out of here. Because most people actually did a lot more than that yesterday.